Welcome to Oil Ocean Zone, Act 1. This is Sonic 2. Still, <laughs> it's still Sonic yeah. 2. It is? I, th and I thought this was Sonic Mania. I couldn't tell the difference. Oh. No, no, we're, we're still in the 16-bit era. That's right, the year is 1992. I'm sure New Kids on the Block still exist? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? I'm sure they're still new. <laughs> What happened in 92? Um, I was born. Well, then you don't remember. You. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many how many Sonic games existed at this time? Uh, there, there were four that you could go to the store and buy. Right. Um, how many arcades were out? Um, oh, I, I mean, we, what, what was Sega Sonic the Hedgehog out by now, or was that a year later? That was a year later. See, I, I forget exactly like when, um, uh, you know, the, the the Police One and Cosmo Fighter came out, uh, and because those were in Japan, it's like, oh, they were released. I don't know if we have like the exact date that one could uh, acquire, you know, that somebody could buy that for their arcade. But certainly, if you lived in the West, those were a non-entity. Yes. So there were only four home Sonic games, and two of them were on the Master System slash Game Gear. Um, uh, according to SonicRetro.org, <laughs> Waku Waku Sonic Patrol Car yes. was released mm -hmm. on October 10th, 1991. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. I was. But what about uh, Cosmo Fighter? Uh, that was the 25th of April, 1993. Oh, okay, that was after. So there, oh. I feel like there's one more in there that I'm forgetting. Um, Sega Popcorn Shop. That doesn't count. <laughs> also, that had <laughs> tails in it, so I think it would be after. Um, I mean, Sega Sonic Bros. technically existed. True. Had a field test by this point, but that was never uh, a mass market game. So I don't, I don't think you can count that. So, so really when did sonic eraser come out that was also 91 do you count that oh though? god i forgot about that yeah that was 91 ah <laughs> uh, yeah i was right right okay so there so there were this is six or seven if you count the field testing of <laughs> sega sonic bros ah <laughs> uh, god it's fine that's a lot of sonic in two years <laughs> That's a lot. Man, we need some help. It should be called <laughs> Sonic 7. Yeah, see, yeah, see Se Sega, yeah, Sega was overloading Sonic even in the very first year. Wait, do we end. count yes. UFO Mini Sega Sonic, the UFO catcher? No, that, that definitely doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Mega Play? What about the Mega Play version of Sonic 1, though? Oh. Oh. What's the Mega Play? It's the arcade version. The, the arcade version. I. Did, was that out before Sonic 2 came out? I I honestly don't remember. Let's check. Just like how I didn't remember there were dates for, for Cosmo uh, Fighter. Sega Retro just says 1991. Well, that's not helpful. That, that, oh, wait, that... hang on. There's a table down below. Okay. Although, if that's just Sonic 1 in an arcade, can you really count it as its own unique game? It's just Sonic 1 in an arcade. You count Waku Waku Patrol. Yeah, but that's a separate game because you're you're Sonic the Hedgehog and you're a police officer and you're chasing Eggman, who is of course uh he's he's broke the law somehow. Mega Play ran from ninety one to ninety four. <laughs> I think I think maybe there might be a thing of like, oh yeah, it's it is pretty much just Sonic One, but maybe there's like, oh they, they tweaked it they tweaked maybe the code slightly so it kinda works on like like uh arcade logic of oh when you like you lose your all your lives and it's like, oh you gotta put in your coins to get more continues. Yeah, but it, that kind of it's thing. still the same game as in here are the levels, these are the layouts. It's not like oh we redesigned Ex Green Hill Zone from they top to bottom. So. No, but they actually take out two levels. They they do do that, I think. Yeah, but it's they take out marble and labyrinth. Ah, uh, if you, if you can cons if you can consider like the Christian Whitehead versions to be like oh separate entities, and I'd say that is like fair game of being like a separate entity. Well, I mean, I would call it a separate entity, but I don't know if I would call it a separate game because just like this is still Sonic. Two. It's not like the Game Gear version of Sonic Two, which is completely different, or the Game Gear version of Sonic One, where those are. What those about are... the Java version? <laughs> that definitely <laughs> didn't come out in 1991. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's get into. There's the iPod version with the click wheel. There was an iPod the, version. God, I, 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 I play. I had the iPod version, and it, it is so yes, bad. I've I, always I, wanted to play it. I had an iPod, uh, an old iPod like that, but I didn't get the game. 
So, well, I only played this with a click wheel. So, all this footage is click wheel footage. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we made it through the entirety of <laughs> this zone, both at without talking well, about without it. Talking yeah, so about it. <laughs> while talking about tons of other Sonic games that are not okay. Sonic Two. I didn't. I didn't talk about Pear Penelope <laughs> at all. Who's that? In in Oil Ocean Zone. <laughs> Pear Penelope, of course, being the fictitious princess that I created in my head that Sonic was rescuing during Sonic One and Sonic Two. <laughs> okay. And, <laughs> And, and see, an oil ocean zone, because you could see the, the sun, it, it, the, the plot was, oh, Sonic has to get to the end of oil ocean, otherwise the sun will melt her because it's so hot. And he's like, I gotta beat <laughs> oil ocean or she'll die. I'm Sonic. Uh, What's her name? Pear Penelope. <laughs> it's a good name. Uh, she also okay. has plot in this, in, in Metropolis Zone, because, you know, those little starus, uh, the, you know, the exploding starfish? Um, Asterons. The Asterons. Yeah, what is Staru? I'm... Staru, the Pokemon. Pokemon, yeah. Right. Yeah, I was going to say Staru. <laughs> uh, don't tell anyone I accidentally said a Pokemon in Sonic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, fix that in post. Don't worry, it'll be our secret. Right, so, so the Asterons, <laughs> see the little circle bit? I would say that uh, one of her necklaces were trapped in that. And so every time it exploded, Sonic freed one of her necklaces because she's like, Sonic, I need my necklace. Please give it to me. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I'll do that. This is, it's, it's all a, it's all part of the, the actual true plot of Sonic 1 and not something I made up as a child. <laughs> where, 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 do, where does Genocide City Zone fit in? <laughs> uh... A pair Penelope, I don't think ever went to Genocide City. Zone. <laughs> I don't. What is Genocide City? Genocide. I mean, if we're being real, Act Three. Yes. <gasps> you killed Tails. That was. You killed him. I tried not to, but it happened. <laughs> and for a second, I that'll hold up in court. <laughs> Did Genocide City was Genocide City was one of the it was one of the levels that got uh, deleted uh, from the final right. game. Right. It, it was. It was going to be called Cyber City at the end, and. Yes, the layout is what the um, Act 3 is. The actual graphics of Cyber Slash Genocide City, uh, you can see in Spinball, uh, the third round, the machine. Those graphics yep. were just like how the background of Hidden Palace Zone, I got hit, uh, was reused <laughs> in Toxic Caves. So, a little, little, little trivia for the viewer. Hello. <laughs> I feel like Metropolis would be much better received if instead of a third act, they just either went with Cyber City or just cut the third act altogether. Ah, uh, I, I like the fact there's a third act, though, because we're reaching we're nearing the end of the game. You know, everything is, is easy because Sonic one's three acts over and over. We're like, OK, here's Sonic two. It's two acts. It's a you know, maybe the, the zones are a little bit bigger, but we're, we're going through it a clip. But then this is the point where things really ramp up in terms of difficulty in terms of what's the story because now we're in the heart of dr eggman's operations he built metropolis zone you could argue did he build casino night but there's no way you can argue did he build this yes you got some contractor to do it uh yeah but he would take the credit i think <laughs> so <laughs> where where do you get the lava from <laughs> what where do you get that lava from uh don't ask those questions uh, look he, he... He's resourceful. He's got money. No, but you know, it, it, it's an inch that, Well, I mean, he, he he builds the robots to to make everything. Then that's what happens. Yeah, and the robots build everything. Yeah, yeah. He's robots don't need a union. That's right. He didn't program <laughs> a union into them. Fucking Amazon. Except for the ones that he did, I, and that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why like Woodzone isn't in here. Those those were the badniks that had the 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 idea of like we're going to unionize. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and they ah, oh, that's terrible. What zone? He sent them to Genocide City Zone, and then he covered that up by deleting it. Ah, oh. oh my God! <laughs> Look, it's Sonic is a little bit darker. It all comes together. This feels like one of the behind-the-scenes documentaries. I th you're going straight to Genocide City. Eggman is evil. You, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Eggman won't be pro-union. He's not. He's not a good guy. <laughs> but he is a feminist. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. 
Yes. He's a he's a he's a womanizer. No, he's he's a he's a, he's a feminist because he's an equal opportunity megalomaniac. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, a hedgehog or a fox. He wants to you know subjugate you in the exact same way. He wants to. I thought megalomaniac meant that you were obsessed with yourself. Well, yes, he's an equal opportunity megalomaniac. He doesn't <laughs> care who you no are sense. as long as you love him. Well, oh, okay. What a progressive villain. Yeah, <laughs> he's very. <laughs> Eggman is one of those assholes who goes, no, nah, I'm not, uh, I'm not racist. I hate everyone the same. Yeah. I'm not like most uh, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what? not like most eggs. I'm not like any girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like most villains. <laughs> That's right. He, you know, cause like Shredder, he's angry. Cybertron, he's angry. Eggman, he's always got a smile on his face. Did you just say Cybertron? I did say Cybertron. That's the planet. I meant... <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Get his ass! Uh, I was I was listening to, to some people talk about the movies, and they were just talking about um, the, the third one, and they kept on talking about Cybertron, and that's what stuck in my head, as opposed to Megatron. Megatron. Yes. <laughs> Look, I don't... Megatron is a hell of a name, though. <laughs> I don't understand Transformers. Uh, there was the one on Fox Kids. <laughs> Beast Wars? Uh, no, I guess it was like the... Was it the Fox Box at that point? It was the third show, I guess? Because it was after Beast Wars. It was like, we're bringing it back this time. It's not the 80s anymore. Oh, I think I, re I, think I remember the one you're talking about. I forget what it's called, because it only, it only existed for a season and no one ever talks about it. We're all talking about something we have no idea about. <laughs> <laughs> D David, you you were you were talking about trying to think of like uh, other other maniacal villain, uh, other megalomaniacal villains like Eggman. When you could also you could also just do a uh, Doctor Wily. Doctor Wily is an, an obvious example. Sorry, sorry to bring it back to the uh, to the gameplay here, but are you screwed at this point? Did you screw yourself? Uh... For a second, I thought I did, but luckily. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you should apologize for asking about the game in this game video. <laughs> I think he had to go further because of the way that the widescreen is. So it's like the respawn. Uh, you have to go a bit further for the respawn to affect. Whereas in the original game, yeah. you didn't have to go that back far. Yeah. For hmm. the okay. Respawn hit. Uh, yeah. To fix. There are little things that when you're playing it, you'll notice aren't the same as the Genesis slash Mega Drive version. Like in Casino Night, completely ignored. There's uh, there was a bit that that film that was in the footage where Eggman lands on three bumpers and it does like a little triangle thing. But in, in this version, it just kind of flings you off to the side. You don't get the neat little bumps. And that's, I guess, just the way it's programmed. Uh, the casual viewer might not notice it, but I definitely did. And went, this is wrong. <laughs> it's ruined. <laughs> Every Sonic fan ever. That's right. Well, you know, when you've been playing a game for almost 30 years and you, you've, like memorize every or like you just know how it's supposed to feel anything slightly off it, it's gonna throw you yeah i fell you fell see i see i would say see i i'm see uh, i might say that was weird but then say for example if i like looked at like uh like the spiral reignited i can like tell hey wait a minute that's different that's different like i can just tell because it's like oh i'm so familiar with those games so it's like yeah yeah i understand that completely yeah that's how I felt when I first played the Sonic 1 prototype, which, by the way, what a thing we're able to say now, the Sonic 1 prototype, uh, when Sonic's jump was like six pixels shorter. Yes. And I was yes, like, wait, I, something's off here. Why? I definitely I, oh, noticed that the first time I played it. He can't jump as I. No. <laughs> he controls like, I. it's obviously a prototype, but like it feels like a prototype with how he handles. All right. Which makes sense. They weren't done yet. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, look at that. That's, oh, no. that's pain, isn't it? Cause, cause I was like, you know, I I could stop and re-record it, or I'll just keep on going. Oh thank, oh, thank God! <laughs> Sonic Two is a tale of perseverance. It is, especially Metropolis. So <laughs> damn right it is. Right. So everyone's favorite level is this one, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Who here has beaten this game with all seven Chaos Emeralds before? Nope. I have. Here. I have. 
I have. I probably have on an emulator, but without save states at some point, because I did not have this game as a kid. Oh. Huh. I had to beat it the hard way as a kid. And that was just no emulation and nothing. Just, yeah, keep resetting and keep trying. I was never able to do it until my, uh, my college years, so... Mm. I, I eventually beat Sonic 2, but I've never gotten all the Chaos Emeralds. Mm. Fake fan. This is too much work for me. Nope. It's not even worth it, honestly. Yeah, as a kid, my family had a Genesis, but it was one of those deals where it's like they got it from a family friend and just whatever set of games that family friend had, that was the set of games. And we had one Sonic game, and it was Sonic Spinball. Oh. Ooh. So as a result, I like Sonic Spinball probably more than a lot of people. I like it. Uh, I mean, it's it's okay to like a game that's not canon. Not as much as Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. It's canon to our universe at Alton Towers. It's a good game. Just hard as balls, though. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They rebranded it. It's no longer canon. That's right. It's not. <laughs> they, they tore down that, that Sonic room. They, they didn't just rebrand it. They, they ripped the entire hotel room out of the hotel it's like they destroyed the hotel and rebuilt <laughs> it from the ground up oh that was the end act three see this this level short <laughs> so it was five minutes and uh, yeah uh that's good 